Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my beautiful ladies. How are you today? Hi. Good morning, all. Good morning, everyone. It's wonderful to be back here again. Yes, we miss you. Yes, I miss you all too. I miss everyone. It's great to be back here. It's another bright and beautiful day. And I give God thanks and praise for yet another day, health, strength, and life. It's now 10, 11 Atlantic Standard Time in the beautiful Twin Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. And we're greeting you from the Caribbean, many Caribbean nations here coming together in unity to empower our young women. So today we're having our tea party. So I hope everybody's all dressed up. I mean, I tried something, you know, so all right nice i'm seeing marilyn and dorothy are there so i um, hope you young ladies are anticipating a wonderful time we've got some sp special very special guests with us today i'm already seeing a couple of them on uh, from all over the world to give you wonderful greetings and we're going to be doing a vision board exercise as well to help you reflect and uh, over the past eight weeks that we've done um what we've done and put your ideas down moving forward your dreams and your aspirations right so i hope we're all excited i'm seeing uh is that a little crown there that's princess shalina right good so we all dressed up nice we have some special guests with us today as we go along we're going to start with um let me see I'm seeing we have Anala, um, Khadija. I think I'm seeing Khadija there, right? Okay, do we have Miss Liz? Miss Liz is with us. Miss Liz has been instrumental in organizing all these beautiful ladies uh, coming to give us some words of inspiration today. Do we have Miss Liz from Canada on with us at the moment? Okay, so we have Anala. So I'm going to introduce Anala and then we are going to hear from her. She's going to give us some words of inspiration, tell us where she's from, um, a bit about her background and what she's, she's into. So, uh, Anala? Yes, hi. Hi. hi good, good day. You're on stage. Take the floor. Right. Yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for this such awesome um, opportunity to be able to speak and to inspire the younger generations that I have, uh, that we have in front of us right now. Um, yeah, I'm in the Philippines, I'm 25 years old and I'm a peace ambassador from the Philippines for the Global Peace Challenge 2020. And I'm also the current executive director for Room Redux Philippines. So you can check my page you can check my account on facebook if you want to know more information about that and i can share that later too but i'm so excited for today thank you so much great so we're going to have khadija introduce herself and then we're going to come back to um anala who's going to be our first speaker hi khadija mm -hmm. Hey, good morning, everyone. Thank you for the privilege of being able to pour into you guys, you ladies this morning. It's a real pleasure. I am Khadija Alisa Mool and I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. Tobago, to be exact, that's a smaller island. I am involved in coaching and mentorship. I own the company, nonprofit organization, Power of Power Movement. I'm also the owner and CEO of Janitorial Business. I am a John Maxwell team coach, a Toastmaster, and a recent author. And also, I am a fashion model who train young women to encourage themselves to be confident and teach them to walk and stand with great posture. So, yes. So, you guys can follow me at Tower of Power Movement or Queen in Khadija on Instagram. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Khadija. Yeah. Right, I'm seeing some beautiful outfits. I'm seeing Quenisha, Savannah. Wow, we have some. That's a nice bonnet there, Savannah. Hat, bonnet. Wow, very fashionable today. All right, so I'll have to try to scroll through to see if I can see, you know, the other girls and their beautiful outfits. Right, so we have a fun packed um, 
morning for you guys. Khadija is going to be doing our vision board exercise, uh, carrying you through your dreams and aspirations. So we're going to start with Analog. Um, and I'll give us a little bit, um, you know, about what you're into and um, some words of inspiration for these young ladies. Yeah, thank you so much for such an introduction. And yeah, I'm in the Philippines and I live in a really small town as well. So I, I grew up in um, farming industry. So we don't have a lot of access to technology. We don't have access to like um, jobs available because we're like in a rural area. So I, at first, like I, when I was still young, at first I was thinking like, do we have so much opportunity in front of us? Or do we have hope to like um, be on top or something to be involved in a company or not? So those are some of the questions that I have when I was younger. And then, but it, it changed. It totally changed my life. Like when I was able to like um, enter the college. So I, I studied electronics engineering technology. That's my degree. And then that's where my like my mind has been open because I already have access to the internet. So I have a lot of things that I can re um, use. But mind you guys, internet can be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. It depends on how you use it. I know we, every one of us has access to that, right? I'm not sure if some some people here have TikTok. Does anybody have TikTok here? Maybe can you raise your hand if you have a TikTok account? So yeah, you have a TikTok. So basically, almost all of the teenagers or the kids out there have access to the internet. But I just wanted to remind you to be very careful. Like think before you click anything. That's one thing that's um, very efficient as to what we need to do when it comes to like the internet. But as to my as to what my vision really as a whole, I'm like an advocate for children's rights. And as I mentioned earlier, I am an executive director of Room Redux Philippines. So its main branch is in Texas. And our goal there is to be able to help kids that are sexually abused, physically abused. And our goal is to be able to like transform their rooms. So let's say for example, someone has been like sexually abused and basically maybe it has been like in the room that they were abused right so it can be very hard for them to face their daily activities or their daily tasks if they're still like using the same room and they still like maybe remember the the, the, the day that happened the situation right so for room redux it has been like our um goal to like help each and every one, like one step at a time. And right, right now we have um, transformed 73 plus rooms around the United States. So it's a, a really awesome um, opportunity for us in the Room Redux community to like be able to extend our help to each of these um, kids out there. And personally, I'm also, um, I'm also te teaching my, my nephews and my nieces and the neighborhood kids. I'm really an advocate for, for kids. So I'm not a teacher by profession, but I can I can teach with the experience that I have. And that's that's the one thing that I can really assure you guys that you can be everything. You can be anything you want. You just have to put your heart on what's what's really your passion, what's really in your heart. Like I want, uh, like I mentioned to you earlier, I, I didn't grow up in a really good um, family. Like we don't have much, we don't have all the money, but I have that dream in my heart. That's that ha that no one can take that away from me. And that dream motivated me to do something because I don't have the resources. I have to find those resources available because I could not. I don't have access to those paid courses available. I use my time like. When I was in college, I was studying. I need to like study for my exams. But at the same time, I have those free times available. I use that to nurture my skills. And like right now, I'm the founder and CEO as well of a digital marketing company called Workforce. So that's like the main thing that I do as to my career. But um, erase the fact that I'm like a founder and CEO. But what I wanted you to like remember is that 
use that dream to like inspire you even more and have that goal in mind have that goal in mind to not just earn the money it just goes afterwards but what's really important is what's your goal like ask yourself like what's in it for me if i do this what's in it for you like what's your what is it that in it's in your mind what's your goal right you can like ponder that maybe after this this conference right you can like ask yourself what's really something that i would love to share to the world what legacy i would like to like leave her here on earth so to wrap it up like with what i said it's just that um become some be, be that someone that helps like start with yourself i know the world has changed a lot we have the pandemic it we have like this different accidents happening around us and it's like the world is changing a lot and but but with all that hap that's happening it's like it gets us closer to our families it gets us closer to our loved ones it gets us closer to what really matter like right now we know what's essential and what what is not so that that's happening for a reason everything happened for a reason guys and me being here has a reason as well and it's not an accident that i'm in front of you and that i've known these people wonderful people around me and you guys remember this you are beautiful you are beautiful of who you are i am beautiful sometimes because of the internet it gets me so frustrated like wow she's really good i can't do that well she's so sexy and i'm not but no you are beautiful just remember that sometimes i procrastinate myself but i would just remind myself that i am beautiful and i am awesome so thank you so much guys and i look forward to hearing more stories today thank you thank you very much anna lao that was wonderful thanks so much for encouraging the ladies letting them know that they're beautiful and that they can fulfill their dreams even though they come from you know maybe a family with not much uh, finance or not much opportunities they can use their time wisely i think that's one of the most important um things using what resources and time that you have wisely to propel yourself forward thanks very very much for that and congratulations on your success it's wonderful really wonderful to have you here and nothing happens by chance it really is you know an opportunity um you know that you're here to be able to bless the girls right so i'm seeing some more beautiful faces everybody all dressed up wow wonderful so what i think we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight into the vision board exercise so uh let me let uh, khadija introduce herself and then she's gonna move you into the vision boarding exercise um i hope you ladies have your um bristol board or cardboards pens markers pencils whatever you have even if you have paper and pen um, you can do the little drawings and you can do your vision board at a later um, date. Uh, just use whatever, you know, resources that you have at hand. If you have your, um, like your tea bags close by, if you don't have your tea bags, you can just draw some squares, you know, on a, on a piece of paper and we can improvise. Okay, so let me uh, hand you over. Khadija, you have the stage. Great. Thank you so much, Simone, for that introduction. So who knows what vision boards are? Anyone? Anybody wants to? I like to get the crowd going. So I want to hear from you girls. Anyone knows what a vision board is? Tell me. You could say it in two words, one sentence. Anyone? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I think a uh, vision board is very superficial. Dreams. Old setting. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. Yes, for its CXC results. That's a vision. Thank you. Thank you, Rose. Come Anybody on. else? Oh, I was wanting to know. Okay. Let me tell you guys what a vision board is. I know some of you already have an idea. A vision board is like a collage of images that represent your goals and your dreams. Yes, so Rose was right. It can include cutout pictures from magazines or words that help inspire you to really manifest your dreams to where you are now and where you want to go, right? 
So you see kids, adults, you know, I do vision boards at the beginning, at the ending of every year for, so like for 2021, I did my vision board. I did, I said, hey, I'm gonna write down everything that I want to accomplish in 2021 and I'll do the same thing for 2022. You know, so for starters, vision boards really encourage young people to dream big, right? So I want to show you what my daughters did. But before I do that, I want you all to understand the concept of goal setting, right? It's never too early for kids to learn the importance of goal setting. Because let me tell you what happened. It holds them accountable for their success. And I am sure that each one of you here today, I want to see the best for you guys. I want to see you guys win. I want to see you guys reach your fullest potential, right? And ho be holding yourself accountable. Every time you see that vision board, say, hey, yes, I'm going to do this today. Or I'm going to do this next week. I'm going to do it. But you see, now is the only time we have. Tomorrow is not promised to anyone, right? <laughs> you all agree with me? I can see some hands going up, some shaking heads. Yes, 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 right. Good. So goal setting is also a boost for your confidence. For every goal achieved, you get to believe in yourself, right? You can learn to believe in yourself and that's the seed of a growth mindset, right? That is planted in your mind from a very young age you know, when you have a growth mindset, you are able to achieve far and beyond. Now, let me tell you all something. You all ever wonder how you find your passion? You all, you, I want to hear from you all, you know. I want to see some interaction. Yeah? I want you all to tell me if you all have ever discovered what your true purpose is. And I want to share that with you today. Before I show you the vision board, I want to show you, to tell you actually, how to discover what you are truly, truly passionate about. Right? Anybody have a passion, a skill that they're good at here? Yeah? Right. If you all have a passion or a skill that you're really good at, I want you all to, to really hear what I am about to see. Because when you use your strengths, right? Your strengths, plus the things that you are really good at. It helps you to create a vision for yourself. It helps you find your purpose, right? Your purpose and what do you really put on this earth here for? Yes. So let me share something with you. I want you to see that your strengths, when you use your strengths, your passion, what you could add, the value that you could add to somebody, yes, is is your purpose. That is your purpose. And let me just let me just share this with you. I want you to you see your purpose becomes clear when you put those three elements together. What you love doing, right? If if when you love doing something but you don't use your strengths, it becomes your hobby. You all agree with me? But listen, it wouldn't lead you to your purpose. If something uses your strengths, but it doesn't tap into your passion, like what you're really passionate about. If you're passionate, I know a guy who's passionate about washing cars, right? So hear what? If something uses your strength, but it doesn't use your passion, you wouldn't keep doing it. But you see, when your passion and your strengths align and they satisfy the needs of others, then something special happens. You discover your purpose and you make a difference in the world and you climb higher up the mountain of significance. Yeah, and I am going to show you my daughter's vision board, right? I don't know if everyone can see it. This is pretty big, right? So on her vision board, she has work harder, right? She has a little tie-dye thing because they love tie dye um, you know, I, I I used I went and got tie dye kits for them on um, Amazon, and they tie dye everything white in the house. <laughs> you know, because they love doing it. And people, when I put it up on Facebook, people wanted to purchase those things. Now, listen, they have a passion for it. 
So this is what I'm trying to tell you. Tap into your passion, right? Be led by your dreams. That was another thing on her vision board. And she using that. So this is just an example of what you could do. They love plaiting. Imagine she was just three years old when she learned to plait cane rows, corn rows. Now listen, if that's a passion that you have, you can make that work for you, okay? So don't be pushed by your problems. That's an affirmation, right? She's affirming that she would not let her problems overtake her, right? And some of us think, some of us think holding, think holding makes us stronger, but holding back. But sometimes it's letting go that makes us stronger. So this is just an idea of what your vision board can look like, right? It's your goals, your aspirations. She knows she has to work harder in school, right? So she knows what she has to do and she sees herself doing it, right? So that is the whole purpose of vision boards, right? So how do you make it? Explore your values. If your goals are not aligned with your personal values, achieving these goals wouldn't provide a sense of satisfaction and well-being that you are seeking. So ask yourself what really matters to me, yeah? What gives you meaning? What do you want to be? We want to be an air hostess, a doctor, a neurosurgeon that deals with your brain, you know? You know, you all can think, maybe, maybe it's a psychologist, maybe you want to help people, you know, maybe you want to be a leadership coach like myself or a janitorial expert like myself. I run a janitorial company, yes. So, so look at the things that you love to do and think about it, right? Think through your goals. Keep these value-focused questions in the forefront of your mind and think about what motivates you. And if you pursue goals that you find motivating, you will find them much easier to reach. So ask yourself, what do you want? And why do you want them? And one thing I'll leave you with is that don't forget your why. Your why will set your heart on fire. Because listen, passion gives you energy to do everything that you set out to do. Right? So try to understand your goals and why they are important to you. And really go out there and create your vision boards. I would love to see some of your vision boards. And I want to just encourage you guys to tag me in it. I am holding you all accountable. I want to see your vision goals. Um, Kalisa, Jade, I'm calling you out, yes. Qu Quinesha, um, did I say it right? Quinesha, I want to see your vision board, please. Divya, Divya, Pilal Singh, yes. I want to see your vision boards. Rose, Rose, because you are the first person that spoke to me today, I want to see your vision board. Princess, Princess Rose. <laughs> I want you all to tag me in it. I am on Instagram. I am on Facebook. I am on LinkedIn. I am everywhere, right? You all see the, the company name on top here, Tower of Power Movement. Or I am on Instagram at queening underscore Khadija. Or you just type in my name, my full name, Khadija Ali Samul. Cheyenne, I want to see your vision board. Savannah, I want to see your vision board. Shalina, I want to see your vision board. And I'm calling you guys out because I want to see it. Tag me in it. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Simone, for having me. And it's been a real pleasure to share on vision boards and goal setting with these young, beautiful ladies. Thank you so much. Thanks, Khadija. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, we're hoping to be able to start those vision boards today. So um, the girls have their materials. Um, right. If you can just spend just like a couple minutes just guiding them how to get started, because obviously sure. they won't be able to finish, but um, mm -hmm. we can get started today. So girls, okay. what I'd like you to do is get out all your um, your cardboards, etc., your photos, glue, and we can get started. At least to try to you know map out. Uh, where you put stuff, etc., and sure. start to think, you know. So okay. we can take a few minutes and, and do that. Thanks, Khadija. Appreciate. Okay, great. Um, okay. 
Just let me give me one. Give me half of a second, please. My um, sure. my my charger. Sure, I think you've laid a great foundation. So in the meantime, um, girls, please get out your stuff so we can get started on the vision board um, exercise. So once we've done the vision board exercise for a bit and, and got you, get you started, uh, each of you I'm will back, be able I'm to back. give some Sorry feedback right. okay. on your time throughout the past two months. Right, guys. Oh, Simone is talking. Sorry, Simone. Go no, ahead. that's fine. You go ahead, Kadisha. Okay. Back over to so, you. So the first thing you guys could do is head up Vision Board. And you can put Vision Board 2021 because we are we are now, we are, we, I want you to stay present, right? We are now here. We're here now, I mean. And stay present. So you're going to put Vision Board 2021. We have six months remaining for this year. And let us, what do you want your accomplishments to be at the end of the year, right? So I want you to put Vision Board 2021 and we're gonna follow my daughter's example. So what are you passionate about? What, are you, what do you love doing? Even if you could draw, you could draw your own vision board. You don't need photos, right? If you're a good artist, you can do that. So what I want you to do is take the things that you love the most, right? The things that you know you need to do and stick them on. Stick them onto, you wanna put it in some kind of order. The things that you know you want to accomplish between now and one month from now, you stick them first, right? So you stick those first. And and then you could po possibly go ahead and look at the other things that you wish to complete. So what is it? I want to hear from you all. You know, I find you too quiet. I like to hear, Quinisha. You have anything to say? <laughs> You're so pretty. You all are so beautiful. Divya? Uh, you you want to tell me some of your goals? What are you going to put on your vision board? Uh, I have a music test coming up, so I'd All like right. to post that. Good. So what you can do is you can put a, a music. You can put a keynote, you know, the key. What do you call it? The clefts. Put that there and see it. Put a, and, and put it on a piece of paper and put test on it. So you know that you have this test coming up when as soon as next week. I want you to visualize getting that A. You put an A on that test paper, right? Visualize it because whatever you could see in your mind, then it's easier to believe, right? Your subconscious is going to tell you you already passed it. Look at yourself as if you already passed it, right? That is going to help you build so much confidence in knowing and reaching that goal, yeah? Of course, you have to put in the hard work, eh? Have to, no doubt. You can't just be intentional. You have to put action behind that intention of passing, yes? You all agree with me? Give me a thumbs up, somebody. Give me a thumbs up. Yes, <laughs> good, 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 good. I love it, right? So, so those are your immediate goals. What are other, some other things that you possibly need to work on, right? Now, I have twin daughters, but I only, I only took down one of their vision boards off the wall, right? <laughs> so I'm, I'm showing you. So what do you like to do? Do you like to do nails or hair, right? Maybe that's, uh, that's what, something you can put on. Cut out some nails or draw, draw your most fancy nail do. Right? Or cut out a picture of some nails and put it on. You like to comb here? Yes? What about that? Right? So things that you love to do is what you can do. Right? So make sure that your goals align in what motivates you. Set priorities. Some vision boards can end up being a collection of goals you aspire to be. Rich, beautiful, successful. Um, you could 
think about your own house from now on. Think about your college degree. Think about passing for your school of choice, if we have anyone here, you know, and congratulations to the ones who did SE. If you all are here, if there's anyone who did SE here or CXE. Congratulations on going through that marker in your life. Yes. Right. So what can we reasonably accomplish within the next six months? And it doesn't have to be an immediate vision board. It can be a very broad vision board. Con like five years from now, where do you see yourself? Yeah, where do you see yourself? You can visualize your priorities by focusing on a vision board on your most important life goals. Right. So what are you going to do is stick those pictures that talk to your heart. Stick those pictures of what do you want to be. And when you see them, visualize them. Let it get in your subconscious. Think about it day and night because that is what I did. Guys, listen, ladies. The reason I have been so successful in all my youth events, I do a lot of virtual youth events since COVID, is because I saw myself pouring into others. I saw myself being and if you hear my story, you will you will probably cry, you know. I mean, I can't share all of it today, but if you guys could follow me, then yes, you all will get to see it. I have a private group on Facebook that would really get to show you all what 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 and how, not even what, but how I got here. Yes, it wasn't easy, but the challenges make me who I am, right? So when you stick those pictures of your vision board, I want you to keep on remembering it. Right? Good. So you could think about your career. That's one thing. That's your idea. Idea number two is about money. Everybody likes to make money. Hey, you could think about love. Maybe it's a relationship or your health. Eating healthy. So you put a picture of a salad bowl. Yes, because when you know you eat healthy, then you're going to live longer, right? So travel, where do you want to go? You think you want to go to Dubai? Hey, beautiful place. You want to go where? Tell me, America. You want to come to the Caribbean? You want to come to the beautiful beaches in Tobago? Yes. Tell me your social goals. Yeah. You want maybe you, it's that you want a million followers. Hey. I know I have some people here who want some more followers. <laughs> maybe it's your maybe it's your impact or how to create content on social media. I'm excellent at that. By the way, I have programs going on with how to reach, grow your reach on social media. It's amazing, right? So you can include all these things in your vision board, goal focusing. You know, it's all up to you and get creative. I want you all to draw, get creative, put things that you like. If you like flowers, draw some flowers. Decorate it really nice. Put glitter. Yeah, they, they have put glitters on there. So look, my vision board is all in glitter. Glitter. Yeah, if, if, if I gave them the chance to tie dye that white, Bristol board, they would have done the tie dye on the Bristol board. Trust me, that's to tell you how crazy they are over tie dye. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much. And it's a real pleasure. If you need any more questions or help, you could always reach out to me. Um, I'm on WhatsApp. I'm on, you could DM me on Instagram or Facebook, right? Simone, I'm handing back over to you now. Is that okay? Yeah, hi. Thanks very much, Khadija. Great. Thank you. Been a wonderful Lovely. inspiration. No problem. Ladies, welcome. Yeah. Continue to do your vision board. So we're gonna give you a few minutes to get on okay. with it now that you know how to start. Yes. Okay, so don't stop. Don't mind us here, you know. Okay, so I'll just talk to them some more then, Simone. If you yeah. just you just if, tell if you me want, yeah. interject, interject when you want me to stop. Right, no problem. Right. And then I just give them some time to, you know, keep getting on with things. Um, right. uh, we just want to say congratulations to Princess. Um, she's got a scholarship in her country for her exams. So we want to tell her congratulations and well done. Princess, well keep up the great good. work. <laughs> Princess Rose. That's excellent. Yeah. 
Yes, we have some really uh, ambitious yes, young ladies here. Yeah. yeah. Watching Shayan's looking all glamorous this morning. Hi, Shayan, how are you? We've done up the hair and I'm the looks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have to come for here. Style so good. <laughs> wow, lovely. Thanks, Vic. Thank you. Awesome. We're looking like red carpet this morning. Hmm. I feel like underdressed, you know. <laughs> Simone, you look fine. Oh gosh, no, I think I underdressed. Based on these young ladies, uh-uh. Well, I know, eh? They they have a bit of flair and yeah. fashion. I am seeing, well, I am the one what's standing out here is Quinisha rose in her hair, and you know, she she have the 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 way you call it the scarf over and listen. Mm. Y'all could be some real models here. Hello. I'm, I'm seeing the fashion. I'm seeing the fashion. I'm seeing a lot of glitter. I've seen somebody have on a crown and all, Simone. Yes. Yes, I see Danica now pull back her hair. Yes. Oh, yes. You know, that's it's what you're talking gems. about. I've seen, I seen Shalina with, with her crown on and her long earrings. Mm, you know, fashion. I could give you all some fashion tips, eh, but I don't know if this is the... This is the <laughs> You go right ahead. I, I can't give any fashion to some fashion or whatever they want to call it. So yes. I am the furthest person from fashion. So you could go right ahead and, right. and help them along. I'll give you a little bit because I have a fashion program actually coming out on the first of August. If you all want to join and feel free. Okay. It's, yeah, yeah. It's actually um don't stress strut. That's the name of it. I all need to check out my page to, to really see what this is about because it's not only about uh, fashion. I'll be depositing some value into you. You all will get to do personality tests and stuff to find out your personality style, right? Because your attitude, your character defines, you know, it, it shows who you are, right? And yeah. that, is, that is another thing you could put on your vision board. If you desire to change your attitude and change your character, guys. Put that on your vision board, right? Because let me tell you something. When I was a younger parent, I'm a parent of three. Eh? My son is 19. That's to tell you how old I am, but I'm not gonna say a word about that, <laughs> right? <laughs> I maybe look young, but I have some age. And my two girls, they're twin, they're 12 years old. So I could be, honest with you guys here today and say I was not a great parent when I just started right and you know my vision for myself changed when I write when I wrote actually wrote down my goals I said I want to be a better mommy I want to be a mommy that my kids could look up to and I used to call with them and shout and you know we as parents have that you know do it my way or the highway kind of right but at the end of the day, when I chose to change my attitude, that is when my kids and I had a really great relationship. You know, and I could be real with you is because I set that on my vision board. And let me tell you something. It takes practice to get to where you need to be, guys. It, it doesn't happen like that. It would never happen like that. Right? So when you see yourself being the best parent, I'm not saying I am the best parent, but I'm much better than I was before. Yeah. And that is what you want to do. That's what vision boards help you do to become the best version of yourself. Right. So I'm just sharing with you guys what you can do. So I'm seeing some of you really busy and getting down into it. And I want to see where you have gotten so far. You could show me, show it up, show it up on the screen. Yeah, anybody? Because I'm seeing 39 people here. I would Come love on. to see more cameras on, guys. Come on. Come on, ladies. Start to show your vision yeah. board. Show, show my, I would love to see your vision board. Wherever you've reached so far. It could just be vision board 2021. Wherever you are so far, I would love to see it, guys. Come on. We need 39 cameras on today. Yeah, everybody needs to have the camera yeah. on. That's one Come thing. On, guys. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's be interactive. Mm -hmm. Lift it up a little higher, princess. Everything. Right, nice. Yes, lovely. Be a queen. 
And listen, who tell you not a queen already, girlfriend? Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. You are queen in your own right. You understand? And don't let anybody tell you that you are not. Okay? Have that confidence. Get that Definitely. confidence today. Today you will leave here with that confidence. Believing in you. Believing that you are already a queen. Right? You're already anybody royalty. Else? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Courtney, I'm calling you guys out. Debbie, Danica. Okay, Danica is here, I think. We have Debbie is actually our in-house psychologist, Deborah oh. Gibran. Yes, so she's okay. part of our team. Um, Lovely. We have Hi, Beverly. Debbie. <laughs> Sorry. Beverly from Dominica. That's all right. We have Beverly from Dominica. Uh, nice. She's one of our Good team luck. members. Yeah. Um, we have Utalia from St. Lucia. So we have a um, good combination, you know, from all over the Caribbean. Hi, Utalia. Yeah. Hi, Hi, I was just saying you have to have a chat with me, you know. Simone, she yes. needs to talk to me. Oh, great. No problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have plans for her. Oh, All right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have okay. Yeah, she doesn't know really that yet. She I was listening to you yeah, from Italia. <laughs> Kedisha, you've got yourself in some hot water here, man. You can't get out. Don't worry. I yes. love hot water. Don't worry. <laughs> we, we, we'll talk well, after. You, you have a lot of. No <laughs> And she might have to use some of our girls too, Simone. If what yeah. I have for her. Okay, great. <laughs> so um it's some um some media coverage there, um, Khadija. So <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna talk to you after um, about no it. No so. problem. All right, that's fine, that's cool, it's all good. Let okay. me call out let me call out some more kids. Come on, Kalia. How are you? Oh, yes. Kalia is an entrepreneur. Oh, Ms. Kalia, well, she could actually teach the lesson. Hi, she is our entrepreneur. Yes, great. She already, yeah, she already has a business. I think she's developing another one. And, you know, Kalia, yeah. yeah, that's excellent news, Kalia Rajkumar. If you're here, I would love to see your face because I have a, yes. I have a program right now with that going on that unleashes a guide for young entrepreneur starters. Listen, guys. I want to pour into you guys so much, you know, Casey, I'm seeing Giovanni, Joan, Jane. Oh, actually, Joan's my mom. She's in uh, oh. London. <laughs> so she's Hi, London. Joan. Hi, in. Simone, mommy. <laughs> yeah. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Yes. She's normally very quiet, but then if she wants to say anything, you know, she's always oh. in the background. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Hi, mom. Do you want to say anything? Putting me on the spot today. Kalisa. I'm seeing Kalisa. Kalisa, what's up, girl? Let me see your vision board. You have anything? Anything so far? Read, read it for me and not seeing. Oh, Angel just came on. Good. Lovely. So at least you started, right? So you know you're going to get pictures, Kalisa. Yeah, you're going to put your pictures on. Yeah? Okay. Right. We have Alia Nevada, who's in London as well. That's my niece, and she's the Global Youth Ambassador for the Sophia Miriam Foundation. Oh, and lovely. Yeah, she's been interacting with the girls and, you know, sharing her story and giving them that encouragement, you know. Really? And it's really been great because, you know, she's 19, so peer to peer, you know, they can associate with each other and Connect, understand yeah. where they're at, you know. Because mm, sometimes we as adults, yeah. you know, they might not be able to associate because we've passed that stage and, you know, been through certain things already. But <laughs> she's actually going through, you know, things with them at the moment. So, good. yeah, That's let me see. Uh, Ali, are you there? Uh, she did enter earlier on. I'm here. I'm here. Oh yeah. Hi. Say hi to the uh, girls. Huh? Hi guys. Oh wait. Uh, give me a sec. The dogs are barking. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Right. So while Ali is there, we have Rubia, who is from Suriname. She's a partner in Suriname. And Lovely. She, yeah. She has her girls. They're engaged and um, 
STEM programs. This is amazing. Uh, where's so, Marion? Hey, how are Marilyn? you doing? Oh, right. We have, we're back to Aliyah. Go ahead, Aliyah. Uh, Yeah, go ahead. You have your camera on. Put on your camera so we can see your dress. <laughs> Afterwards, we'll, we'll hear from Marilyn. Marilyn's our partner in Guyana. A facilitator Hi, there. Marilyn. Wow. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. Marilyn's been all dressed up since early this morning, waiting <laughs> on this, you know. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Great. That's awesome, Simone. You're doing an awesome job here. Thanks, Kadisha. Great. I'm, I'm really trying. proud of you. I I don't even I mean this is my first time meeting you and I feel so drawn to everyone here. You know, just the fact that you could pour into people, pour into others, give what you have because really and truly you want to leave this world empty, right? Guys, yeah, so leave the world empty. You don't want to have anything, any of your greatness inside of you. Yes, you agree with that, Simone? Of course, you we have to your give. greatness to come out. Yeah, yeah. You know what, Simone, you know what I always say? I say, I, I tell and mentor my youths, and the first one of, thing, one of the things that I always leave them with is God's gift to us is our talents and skills the gifts that he put, the talent and skills he put inside of us, the greatness yeah. that he put inside of us. But our gift back to God, what do you all think that is? It's how we use it, you know? We were meant not to just exist in this world, but to live, right? To live our greatest life by doing the things that he put in us. Revealing the greatness that he put inside of us, yeah? So, our share. gift back to God is what we do with our talents and how we use them well, right? Right? So, that's one way to be, to, you know, you want to leave this world dying empty. Leave this world empty then, you know? So that you're, you live on, yeah? You live on through the work that you've done. All right, but let's hear from, what about Rubia? Let's hear from Rubia in the meantime and, and Marilyn. In the, give a few words of greetings. Good morning. It's a pleasure to um, be here. And I, I enjoy the vision, the vision board. But um, for Guyana, we, we put it on clock. So... Make a quilt. I like it. Vision board. We put it on a quilt, and we would send. We would do like messages. We use a color. Each color have a different meaning. So, for instance, if you um like how you a building, we put it in um in brown. So each color have a different meaning and a different understanding. But I love your vision board. So I use him crayon to create the vision. So each color will represent a meaning. This is a very nice activity. It um but it open the girls them idea and get them um so they could start setting the, the vision and the goal. Thank you. Wonderful. Thanks, Marilyn. Uh, what about Rubia? Let's see from Rubia. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome to Renam and the Arctic State and the Arctic State. It was amazing for us to participate, giving an opportunity to those who can to better themselves and to increase their leadership skills. It is wonderful to see how the girls are active, how they engage in. And uh, I must say, it was Recently, also incredible to see the girls grow and a one on one contact with them and see what they all have to say and how they did their assignments as well. We really have them. Keep on investing in yourself and uh, keep on growing your skills because they're a wonderful girl. 
Thanks very much, Rubia. Ah, uh, we have Commissioner Cole joining us, and Commissioner Cole can't thank her enough. She's been with us every week. Every week we've been here. She's been with us pouring in and you know sharing. Uh, she's been really, really dedicated. So um, I just want to invite Commissioner Cole to uh, give some greetings and just say hi um, as we do this vision board exercise, Commissioner. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, you can. Yes. Uh, forgive me for joining a bit late. Uh, I'm still uh, readjusting to Region 4. I've been uh, close to the border of Suriname for the past two days. Um, I think uh, encouraging girls to vision is key to their sustainable development. Um, that is because when you have a vision and uh, you set yourself goals, it is something that you can wake up and work towards, um, especially for girls. Um, girls have various dreams of what they want to become, but there may be um, obstacles along the way and pitfalls. That does not say that should they encounter difficulties that they cannot be resilient and rebound to become whatever that they desire to become. Um, what is important here, the key is to possess the self-determination and the will to actually uh, see yourselves as champions, see yourselves as worthy, um, see yourselves as being the best. And once you can have that success mindset, then whatever um, life throws at you, you will be able to rebound, be resilient, and to simply move forward and press ahead with your goal and still achieve it. Um, I would like to uh, encourage the girls to take heart. Just uh, look at, we look at the tape from last night's game with the West Indies versus Australia. Um, that is a clear uh, sign of resilience. Um, West Indies was being beaten. Australia was cruising along in that game. I'm talking about the, the, the T20 series, if persons don't know, that is being played in St. Lucia right now between the West Indies and the Australian team. But West Indies did not allow the, 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 the batting performance of Australia to down them. They kept bowling resiliently. And they actually bowled out Australia for 127. When we thought that 145 runs was too little for them to defend, but they persevered and they got the victory. So I would like for the girls to take heart, um, uh, be motivated every day in the goals and the dreams that you set for yourself. And of course, uh, you win. Uh, whatever you set out to do. God bless you all. Keep up the great work, uh, Ms. Claxon and team. Blessings. Thank you very much, Commissioner Cole, for those greetings. Um, we have here with us Anna Lau from in the Philippines. She's brought greetings um, and given a bit of her story, um, advising and motivating the girls to continue, you know, pressing on and utilizing their resources, even though, you know, they haven't, you know, come from maybe wealthy families, et cetera but to use what they have and use their time wisely in order to reach um, their dreams. And we also have Khadija, who is from Trinidad, and she's doing the vision board exercise. Um, she is um, an entrepreneur, she's an ambassador, etc. same as Anna Lau, and um, it's really been wonderful so far with these two young ladies. So I'm just going to introduce her. Aliyah is going to give us a few words, our Global Youth Ambassador. Nevada, Alia Claxton. Is it working? Yes, go ahead, Alia. Hi, guys. Oh, so, how you wow. going? Yeah, I, I bought this dress like um, three years ago, and mm -hmm. there was nowhere to use it. And now there's somewhere to use it, so I'm using it. Great. I think you're going to have to stand up and give us a spin. Let me oh. see what's going on there. Hmm. Let me find a place that it won't fall. That's a horrible idea. Um. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
because I'm short and the laptop wow. someone. Lovely. Great. <laughs> Quite wonderful. Oh. Um, I don't know what to say? What do I say? Just say anything you want to say. <laughs> so we're doing the vision board. So, you know. I actually just recently took mine down because I was like redoing my room, but I had like this giant blue vision board that was just like taking up space on my wall. And they're pretty good. I I go to it all the time. Every time I kind of accomplish something or I think of something new, I kind of put it down or I take it off. It's just, it's kind of good to look at and know that it's there. And even when you kind of feel, you know, it, it's, it's a bad day and there's all this stuff that you've either accomplished or you're going to accomplish to kind of keep you going. I also have this one too. It's probably going to be hard to show because like I'm on my laptop, but Can you see it? Wow, yeah. It's like report cards from like uh, drama class and like Bible verses and quotes from Lynn Manuel Miranda musicals because I'm obsessed with In the Heights and like nice things my friends have said that kind of remind me that I'm an okay human being. <laughs> There's this one from like, where is it, where is it? And I can't find it. Oh, there's this one from Henry. It's like, cause I think I was like freaking out about the fact that we were all like turning 18 and we hadn't accomplished all this stuff. And now we were like in lockdown and stuff. And Henry was literally like, we're still young, bro. We have years to figure this whole thing out. And I actually felt really good after he said that. So I wrote it down and put it on my wall. And now whenever I feel like I'm going to have like a whole nervous breakdown, I just go to the wall. Lovely. Thanks, Alia, for encouraging the girls and showing them uh, how they can use their vision board. They keep going. Got to keep reminding ourselves. OK, uh, I think we should have Miss Liz. Um, she's trying to get on. She's having some technical problems, hence the reason why she's not been on with us so far. So she's still um, she's still trying. Um, in the meantime, um, any of our facilitators would like to bring greetings. Um, we have Yutalia and Bev. You haven't said anything as yet. Greetings from St. Lucia, Dominica. Okay, yes, some greetings. Um, it is really, really good to be here. I'm also doing that vision board, guys. I had one a long time ago, <laughs> and I don't know where it is. I was like, yeah, I had a vision board. I want, to know, I want to know what I did and what I still have to do. Is it still the same thing? So I decided to do one just as you guys were doing one. So I'm almost done. Imagine that. I'm doing it online. So thanks again um, for Khadija. That's her name, the lady who presented Yes. Yes. Oh, thank you so very much. That was a lovely presentation. I think it is for all of us to have a vision. Without a vision, the people perish. So we need to have visions. We need to look forward to the future. That is very important. If you don't have a vision, you follow any wind that blows. You just follow anything that's in front of you. But if you have your own vision, you tread your own path. You dig your own road. You make your own road because you have a vision for your future. So I encourage you to do that vision board. I would love to see it. I'm almost finishing mine. I wouldn't mind sharing it. And um, Simone, have you done yours? No? <laughs> no, I need to. I definitely have to get down to that today. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yes, I mean, um, Jeff, Marlene, everybody, we should do We yeah. should do just like the girls and, you know, support them in their endeavors. Yes. We all are here. We're doing a lot. Simone, I know I'm doing a lot. We're all doing a lot of stuff yeah. these days. So you guys are in a good place to meet people, to network. And of course, we will support you as much as we can. So thank you so much for having me. And I'm so happy I met all of you and, and the facilitators of this workshop. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Natalia. 
Um, we're going to be following up with Khadija and Anala and uh, checking their page, etc., and the different programs that they're involved in and seeing where we can, you know, incorporate and, and partner. So we're going to be following up with you guys and keeping, you know, close, close contact. I'm so glad that you're in our network now. Um, uh, Beverly, you want to bring um, some greetings from Dominica? Yeah, greetings from Dominica. Lovely Saturday morning. And um, yeah, like you, Italia, I think um, when during the pandemic, I was following some um, questions with Les Brown, and I had one that I written on my wall. And um, in changing my room, I took it down, and I probably have it in a box somewhere. I, do, I don't throw things away. But um, I kind of started my own, write down the things that I need on it. And I'm going to try to finish it. But it has really been, today has been really a very good, I think that's a good way to climax everything that we have been doing over the past weeks. All the facilities has really just kind of tighten up on every other topic that was shared um, over the session. So in case that some of you may have forgotten, today was a way of time of cementing and reinforcing everything, every topic I think that was shared from nutrition, from gender abuse, gen gender-based violence, all the topics that were shared pre the previous sessions were kind of just, this was just like a culminating activity. Like the teacher in me, normally I would tell my students, you have an introduction to a unit and at the end of the unit, you culminate the, the unit with a very big activity. And I think everything that was covered in this was really a culmination of everything that has been done. And um, I want to also thank, I really appreciate the opportunity not only to, net, to meet all the young ladies virtually, but also to expand my network. And this was actually one of my vision. One of the things on my vision board was, as I prayed the prayer of Jabez, I said, Lord, bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. So enlarging my territory, doing her being part of this team, Part, my vision, part of my vision has actually been fulfilled because the Lord has expanded my territory to Suriname and to Guyana and to St. Lucia and Trinidad and all the other places, giving, putting all these right connections because it's one thing to have people in your life, but if you don't have the right people, then they can rail you from your vision. So by taking a Gideon took place in my life where the, all those that were not part of the battle had to be out and the right was aiming. So divine connection was part of my vision when I did it. And then I saw that being fulfilled. So I really want to encourage you young ladies that much has been given to you. And to him, much is given, much is expected. I know some of you may not be able, were not able to do all the sessions, but the little that you've got, take it, run with it, and be a better version of yourself. As we ourselves have planned, and we have met as a team and we have purpose to be better versions of ourselves. So I'm telling you, be a better version of yourself because there are people that you will meet that we will never meet. But what you will pour into them is what you have received from this session. So God bless you. We will meet again because I need to travel. I'm not sure where I will end, but I want to travel. So I hope I get to run into all you. Great, thanks very much, Bev. Wonderful to hear from Bev and Dominica. Uh, let's hear from Debbie, Deborah Gibrano, in-house psychologist. She's uh, been there supporting the girls and actually the first session we did, we spoke about um, mental health, mental wellness, um, handling stress, you know, especially during this COVID um, season where we all locked in, um, we're not able to socialize with our friends and family, et cetera, and, and go to school. Um, everything's online. So um, Debbie was quite instrumental in our first session where we did the um, Mandalay exercise. Um, so let's hand you over to Deborah. Hi everyone. Good morning. Um, welcome to Analu and Miss uh, Khadija. I really enjoy the vision board. Um, it is something that we use in therapy as well when we do our therapy. Um, for patients, well, clients with depression or, you know, you're feeling sad or you don't know where life will take you. So you use things like vision board, for example. So um, it was very well articulated. You did a really good job with it. And um, 
Um, I appreciate that. I am also very thankful to be here. I've worked with Simone for the past couple of years and um, she's doing a fantastic job. So um, as all her facilitators will say the same thing, she's doing a wonderful, wonderful job with formulating all these facilitators, all these guest speakers, really wonderful and I am just happy to be a part of it. Um, I just want to say to the girls that what I, what uh, Bev and uh, Yuthalia said, bringing together everything at this end was awesome. This, this last session here is really, really good and I hope that um, you all would make your vision board and use it. Use it because you have to have a, a goal, you know, we did goal setting and dreams and all those things also. So you have to have a goal and you have to start from now. And these these are the, the foundation that we are laying for you. And um, you know you have help. Another aspect we want to do, um, well, I haven't spoken to Simone fully about it yet, but it's, it is on the mental health aspect. And we would facilitate you, well, I am here, to facilitate you anytime you need. You have all the other facilitators which are, are very, very growing. They, they, they are growing in everything that they do and they are here to help you. So I just want to say thank you to the girls. I had a few one-on-ones with a few of them during the breakout sessions and it was really nice. Um, so you just keep doing what you're doing and do the vision board. Believe me, it will help. Okay, thank you, uh, Simone. Thanks very much, Deborah. Uh, Deborah is available to the girls. If any of you uh, would like to do like a one-on-one -on -one session with her, um, young ladies, please do not be afraid. The help is here. Take it while you can get it. Okay, I don't miss that opportunity. Just send me an email if you'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one session. If the you know you're going through any situation, you have any concerns. Uh, we have Deborah on hand here to, to support, okay? Right, I see Princess looking all lovely in her blue dress, fashionable hairstyle. Um, or oh, Angel, yes. Hi, Angel. Okay, great. So uh, let's have Bev. Bev wants to share something again with us. Um, I want to just be a little volunteer this morning. I saw my daughter there, and... Um, I remember in 2017, that was the first time we were going to be separated since she was born. And I was taking her to the States. And then I took her back to the States. And when I was leaving, she, she asked, Mommy, what are you going to do? She, no, she told me, Mommy, I need you to do something for me. Because my whole life was kind of wrapped up in her life, taking care of her. And then I told her, I'm going to do three things. I'm going to read other books more than my bible i am going to have more fun i'm going to start having fun i wasn't having fun but and i'm going to make new friends and these were the three things i told her four years ago 2017 july 2017 and um i am happy that she's here to see that i kept my promise of having new friends because probably she never i never thought I knew none of you in 2017, and I had new friends, new connection. I have grown. I have had more, more fun than I've ever had in a very, very long time. And then I heard the speaker spoke about John Maxwell book. And on that day, when I was leaving the airport, I came across three books of John Maxwell, Maxwell and one of them was Leadership, and I have read so much and it has changed my mindset. So I just wanted to share that and to let her know that I kept my promise to her that I was going to make more friends, read books other than my Bible, and start having fun. And this is, even if I didn't write it down on a vision board, but I speak it. And I want to tell our girls that words create words. Watch what you declare, watch what you say, because it will come, you will give it the power to exist. So I just wanted to share this with you all this afternoon. Wow, thanks so much, Bev. Thanks for sharing. Um, 
Yeah, Beverly, remind me of myself. I have to write down those um, goals as well and work towards them. Yeah, you know, we as mothers, you know, we have to work towards those type of goals you're talking about there. Uh, I don't know if Khadija could associate with that, you know. But Khadija looks like she's having loads of fun in whatever she does, you know. <laughs> Great. Uh, what? Right, Simone. Yeah. I, I real passion for what I do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, think my, passion my, gives I, me energy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that's my, my fun is my work, you know. Doing yeah. this gives me that, you know, that joy and fulfillment. Yeah, what about Anna Lau? Let's hear a bit um, more about maybe life in the Philippines and, you know, what kind of stuff, you know, you do for fun and... Yeah, here in the Philippines we do a lot of like karaoke, like we sing, we sing a lot. So most people here sing. It's like a, our language here. Great. So you have like karaoke yeah. with your friends and stuff? Yeah, yeah, we do, and also just with some families too. It's like an everyday thing. Usually on the weekend, we just sing. This is like we day off, so we get to sing, spend some time. And usually here, it's it's very close, close like with neighbors. Like if you just spend some time outside, like the neighborhood, people are just talking to each other, sharing food, sharing some necessities. So it, that's how close we are. Wow. Wonderful. And what about your journey with the Peace Ambassador? Tell us a bit about that. How has that been interacting with uh, maybe you? So. Yeah, well, actually, that's how I met Liz. In right. The Global Peace Challenge. Yes. Yeah, that's how I met her. And, but it has already like ended, but our goal, our like, the things that we do and advocate is still there. To really like um, bring peace to each and every one. It's like starting by yourself. And with me, I'm starting that through some things that I love to do, which is I mentioned to you with the kids. So I start with them and then I, I nurture their skills. I, I like to teach them some lessons during my free time and do some activities to them. Like we make some um, paper crane. So we show that we do a screen project as well. And we do other arts and crafts, like painting and doing different things at the same time. Wow, wonderful. Great, I see Princess Rose has her cup of tea there. Um, anybody else? Have you, do you have your cup of tea? We're having a tea party, so you must have your cup of something to drink there. I had mine just before we started. So ladies, feel free if you want to go grab a cup of your favorite hot chocolate or your green tea, etc. You can grab your cup and get back with us and continue your vision board. Right? We're having a tea party, so it's a real chill session today. So we just want you to relax and, you know, enjoy yourself. So we can guess, just give you a minute or two to grab your cups. What are you drinking today, Italia? I hope it's not water. Where's Italia? I am Italia, drinking yes? water as usual. <laughs> water as usual. Oh, I see. Oh. A, a tea. Tea. I'm having my bay leaf tea, actually. Oh, yes. Wonderful, very healthy. <laughs> What's Marilyn having? Marilyn, what are you having today? <laughs> what tea are you having? Some, some cinnamon tea. Cinnamon tea, wow. Some really healthy ladies here. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, ladies, I hope you're picking up your cups of chocolate or tea. So what we're going to do is we're going to start giving you girls a chance to talk about your experience over the past um, two months with us. So each of you are just going to give like, a, you know, half a minute just to say how you found, um, you know, the sessions. Just give us a little feedback. 
So I'm going to wait for volunteers, and if not, I'm going to start calling down the list. So let's start with some volunteers. Just 30 seconds. Just give us, you know, um, how this program has impacted. Have you enjoyed it? Anything in particular that you've enjoyed? Any particular class? Ah, see, like Princess wants to go first. Go ahead, Princess. So, um, well, this session has been great for me. I enjoyed every session, especially this one. Great. And, um, you know, many people have inspired me to do different things. <laughs> yes, that's what I have. Thanks very much, Princess. Um, let's see. Miss Little Hi, Liz. joined. Hi. Um, I like to say I enjoyed your program. It was really inspiring. But a lot of self confidence and enjoyed every session up to today. And I miss not coming to class every Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Anjali. You missed class last week. Yeah, miss. I know we are not locked down, so we have nothing yeah. to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, missed you, girls. Oh gosh, the next few weeks until um, you know, second Saturday and next month's gonna be tough. All right, uh, we have Miss Liz here with us. Um, Liz, can you hear us? I think she's having trouble with her camera, but um, let's see if we can hear her. Good morning. Can you guys hear me? Oh, yeah, we can. Hi, Liz. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> I, I'm really, really trying to get in, guys. Like, I I can't get the camera to work, but I'm here. That's all right. Once we have you here, just bring some greetings. Um, We have Khadija here with us and, and Alao doing fantastic with the girls. So good morning, girls. I'm really sorry for being late. I had technical issues over here. Um, I'm working hard to get on my camera so I can see you all. Uh, I'm checking out all of the ones that are on, Simo. So uh, like I said, I will be giving a gift away for the best dressed um, young lady. Oh, yeah. So the giveaway is a signed autograph book of Unstoppable Gems that I was an author in and a bunch of little goodies to make you guys continue with your journey and follow your dreams and stay big. So that will be sent out to the best dressed girl. So I'm looking at all the different cameras here. I wish you guys could see me, but <laughs> technology is what it is, right? So, um, and I'm really honored that the speakers are here and that um, I did have a message from one speaker from Trinidad. She had the same issue. She's having trouble getting in, so. So I don't I, 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 I don't feel so bad now that I was the only one having trouble, so. OK, well, let's hope that she'll um she'll keep trying. She can probably log out, log back in and keep trying. Right, so let's have Kalisa. All right, Kalisa, give us some feedback. How was your journey with us over the past few weeks? Anything in particular you like? Did you enjoy it? Uh, did the program benefit you? Yes, miss. Okay, give us some feedback. Go ahead, Kalisa, we're listening. Miss, I had write down some stuff for last night, but I ain't got it with me here. No, that's all right, you can just talk from, you know, just talk from your head, from your heart. Miss, I didn't want to, Miss, I didn't want to do cosmetology. And before I was wanted to be a teacher, and mom was like, do whatever you want. So I find this as an opportunity for me. Okay, great. So it's encouraged you more to do what you want? Yes, Miss. Okay, perfect, great. Wonderful. Thanks very much, Kalisa. Miss you, welcome. 
Thank you. What about Cheyenne? Go right ahead. So when I when I joined this program, I started having many dark nights of the soul, what they would say is spirituality. And this program has really helped me evolve. And I don't mean on the surface, but deep down from my roots, like really from the depth, I have started growing. And, you know, growth doesn't happen overnight, but I'm happy to see myself doing better, really improving that mindset and really changing the way I see things, changing my perspective on things, and I, I can really say that I'm growing in all areas of my life, not just one area. So this program, even the developing a growth mindset program was, they were awesome. They really helped me and I love interacting with so many people, different ladies, different facilitators. It was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Let's move on. Um, Danica. Yes, Danica. Go right ahead and mute your mic. Good morning, Miss. I think the program was really nice and it helped me build my self confidence. And I made a few new friends from different countries. Wow, wonderful. Uh, let's move on. Uh, what about Angel? Now is your time, guys. Um, well, coming into this, I didn't know what to expect, but it was actually really um, fun and informative. I made friends, I should say, yeah. And it was just something I didn't think that, you know, would have been, I don't know, but it exceeded my expectations. Wow. Wonderful. That is great to hear. You know, sometimes we go into something and we're not really sure if we want to go into it or what to expect. And I'm glad um, Angel was honest with us about her expectations and about the program exceeding her expectations. That is absolutely wonderful to hear. Uh, let's move down the list to Konisha. This program uh, really motivated. It had really motivated and made me think more please. Um, I really enjoyed the things and makeup um, class because um, I'm very interested in stuff like that. Um, so overall, I feel like I learned a lot and it was a very nice experience. Hi, hey, Miss. Um, I answered already and they were calling me. Oh, yes, Anjali. Okay. You don't have anything else to share with us? No, Miss. I just have to say it was a nice, interesting program. Okay. Thanks, Anjali. Yeah, I know you spoke earlier on. Um, wonderful. Come on, ladies. Now is your chance to talk and share about how the program impacted you and did you enjoy it? Any particular aspects you enjoyed more than the other? What about Divya? Let's see if I'm Divya. It was a nice program. Um, I, I look forward to it every Saturday, actually, because it's fun. So I, I miss it, but we had to stop doing it every Saturday. And I, had, I made some friends, like Dorothea and Savannah. So. Yeah, it was nice. Wonderful. Ah, let's hear from Dorothea. Dorothea Nohara. Hi, hi everyone. Um, for me, it was empowering. I feel more inspired to do things. I also started with no, I I didn't know what I wanted to be. But I've been thinking about it, and now I know what I want to be, what I want to be, and um, and I'm oh um I'm um I'm, I'm going to start with my business. Wonderful, Dorothea. What about your camera? We're my not camera. Seeing you. Mhm. Mm We're not seeing you. Wait. Oh yeah. I don't know if it's just me, but. Anybody seen Dorothea? All ah, right, seeing you now. Great. Yeah, girls, you gotta have your cameras on today. Um, what about? Let's hear from Odessa. Odessa, are you there? I think you just rejoined. How has the program been for you? Hey, everyone, I'm Odessa from Ghana. How's the program been for you, Odessa? 
morning, everyone. Hi. Go ahead, Odessa. Wow, well, so you're all dressed up. Yeah, I'm good. I enjoy the meeting so far every week. Getting to meet the young ladies from different country, and that's wonderful. Thank you. Uh, who's next? What about Ciara? Can you all hear me? Yes, we are. Is your camera on, Ciara? Um, I'm now going to put it on. Hold on. Okay. So, um, I honestly did not know what to expect coming into this as well, but like it was a pretty interesting experience to like meet people from other countries and interact with other people. Wow, wonderful. So when you put your camera on and you're talking, we need to be able to see your dress, right? Because remember, this list is giving out a prize. So let's see what's going on there, Ciara. I kind of have on this like unicorn dress and that's really all right. <laughs> okay. yeah. Wonderful. So ladies, we need to be able to see when your you know, camera's on, right? Nice. Let's talk to Shreya. Hi, Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Shreya and uh, I found this class very interesting for all classes actually. My this is my favorite one because of how we got to dress up and get to know how other children like other classes and get to know them more. Um I have a few friends in here and yeah. Where's your camera, Shreya? I'm not seeing you. Miss, my camera isn't working. It's not working. Oh dear. All right. Um, Shalina. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Let's see what's going on there with your dress, Shalina. <laughs> wow, lovely. Great. So, how have you enjoyed the program? Um, I think it was really, really helpful to me, and I really enjoyed this one. I didn't really know what to expect, but I really enjoyed it. Um, and for every other class, because I really needed help with all those things that you got, that you guys teach us and helped us with, so, and I made some friends as well. So yes, um, I really enjoyed it, and thank you so much. Great, you're welcome. Um, let's move on, Savannah. Go all the way in Grenada, Savannah. Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, at the beginning of the program, like I had a feeling what is what is going to be about, but it did exceed my expectations. I learned a lot about, you know. Um, girl empowerment and how to empower myself and to grow and to be more confident in myself. So now with, you know, learning everything within this program, um, I don't doubt myself anymore. I believe in myself now and I can go out and do my dreams. Um, so I'm really glad I've been a part of it and it became a routine. So like last Saturday, it was so odd, like not coming to the... Um, to the program, but I'm looking forward every month to meeting everyone. Thank you, Savannah. Uh, uh, let's do Selena. And I can't really put on my camera because I have a bad internet connection. So okay. I'm just gonna give my opinion about the program. Um, before joining the program, I thought hard about it. I was like, okay, should I really join the program or not? But after joining it, it was definitely worth it. it I learned a lot of a lot of things, a lot of things about the different countries, different customs, 
different foods. I, I especially enjoy the session about national pride because, you know, I like to learn things about different countries. And I really enjoy talking to the ladies. Um, and yeah, just keep up the good work, your foundation. I love it. Yes, thanks. Thank you very much. And while we wait on Kalia, Caitlin. Yes, ma'am. Floor is all yours. For me, I enjoyed this program. It was beyond my expectation. I enjoyed making new friends and interacting with people from different countries, as well as learning about things they like and seeing different things from different perspectives. I enjoyed my time here. My one of my favorite. This is one of my favorite classes, I would say. Overall, it was a it was a very nice experience to widen my variety in, in interacting with other people. Thanks very much, Caitlin. Um, Jade. Jade is in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Come on, Jade, bring us greetings from the Turks and Caicos. Put on um, your camera. Let's see what's happening there with your dress. My camera is on, and um, um, I don't know how to like show you my dress because my computer is a bit small, so I'll have to adjust the position of it. Yeah, I'm seeing your face. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. So tell us how the program was for you, Jade. You stuck it out till the end. Well, we're not exactly, but throughout the past few sessions, how has it been? Um, it was good for me. I would say that I learned some interesting things because I could say I made a friend. I'm not sure if they consider me a friend, but I'll say I made a friend. And I learned about a lot about Trinidad and Suriname and other places in the Caribbean. Come August, I'm supposed to be traveling to Trinidad and Tobago, so I'm kind of excited. Wow. I enjoyed the sessions very much, especially the first session, because we were allowed to talk, but they weren't really forcing us to come out of our shells and stuff like that. Great, wonderful. Okay, so the floor is open. Those who haven't spoken, we and have. And this is my dress. Party. Ah, let's see. Oh, wow, wonderful. Great. Liz, you're in. You're having a look at all these wonderful dresses. Wow. Lovely ladies, lovely. Um, let's see, um, Cheyenne, let's see your dress because we can see you. Your face kind of, you know, close up, but we're not seeing the dress. Let's see the dress. A quick moment, please, because I need yeah, to. Yeah, let's see uh, all this glamorous outfit, these red carpet outfits that we have here today. Wow, lovely. My goodness. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, ladies. It's been a wonderful session so far. So we're going to wrap up shortly. Let's see your vision boards. Let's see how far you've gotten with your vision boards. So come on, girls, put up your vision boards near your cameras and let's see what's happening with your vision boards. So this is a start. So for the next session next month, you're going to finish off your vision boards. What I want you to do is um, this is part of your portfolio. So you're going to take a photo of your vision board. If you can upload it on Flipgrid, do so. If not, you send it via email, okay? So this has to be done before your next session. So you have about four weeks. Right, guys? Is that enough time? Yes, yes. Yeah, so you have the next four weeks to work on your vision board, cut your photos out, print out your photos, etc., and send it to me before the next session, okay, via email or upload it on Flipgrid. Some of you are doing really, really great with sending your stuff, and I just want to thank you for keep, um, for, you know, keeping up with the assignments and your portfolio. And at the end of it all, it will be worth it. Wow, Angel, you've done all that. My goodness. 
I wow. did it already previously. Oh, you did it previously? Okay. Ah, oh, you went ahead of the exercise, huh? I had to do for a class, yeah. All right, that's all right. Wonderful. So let's see, Savannah, what is yours looking like? Let's see so far what you've done. Oh. Let's see what Savannah I don't have there. anything. I don't have everything yet, but I cut out all the pictures that I needed. Right. So I have with some social media here. Okay. Um, just a few pictures. And this is how it looks right now. Um, but it's not done as yet. It just have vision both 2021. Okay, great. So it's a start and you have your pictures. Yes, um, just to stick it on. Perfect. Anybody else wants to share this? Um, no, I send, I send in my own. All right, I'm seeing your camera up, Marilyn, but we're not seeing you. Are you showing yours on camera? Oh, yeah. Let me go to the camera. And then what about you, Talia? Talia said she's getting on with hers. So this is my own. Wow. <laughs> Great, wonderful, Marilyn. Spectacular. We're all getting along. I have to do mine. Um, if so I have to you know, but I have to share my screen. Yeah, you're doing yours online, um, you tell, yeah. I mine online. Right. So we can Just, do electronic. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Just a sneak peek of my um my vision board. Yeah. You seeing it? Right, yeah, so we can do it online on Microsoft Word yeah. or wherever, you know. I have to by each thing I put in. Mm -hmm. So, and then I'm going to the background color and stuff like that later. So it's all done. Everything I want is in there. And I'm just putting a quote by each thing. And then I'm, afterwards, I'm going to put background color and stuff like that. So it's practically done. Wow, um, wonderful. Stop sharing. Yes. Yes. yes I think yes. Cheyenne wants to say something. Yes, yes, so I'm really actually um, working it on a cardboard because due to COVID I couldn't go out. I have written in a, actually on a piece of paper, okay. but in the middle I have my passion, I have my why written so I don't forget that because right. I think my why is very important and around it I have written my visions that I want to achieve. Wow, wonderful. Thank you. Right, guys, so as we're wrapping up, let's see any more vision boards. Huh? No, I'm not for you. La, la. You want chicken? No? No. Not sure. Uh, let's have our very special Mr. Ricardo Mitchell, our marketing and public relations manager for the Sophia Miriam Foundation. Coming on stage now, Mr. Mitchell, the is yours. Hi, good day, good day, everyone. Uh, I may not be eligible for the best dress prize, but <laughs> I took a shower and I put on a hat. So let's hope um, that's enough to get me in contention. <laughs> you guys, uh, is this, I don't have a vision board because, well, let's put it this way, I'm journaling. I'm not writing down what I'm going to do. I'm documenting what you guys are doing. Uh, it's amazing to go through the sessions and to make the slides and to sit and listen to so much being poured into you guys that I've been able to take things and use them in conversations with other people. I am I am learning from this experience as much as you guys might be, or if not more, because I get to go over this stuff again and again and it's sinking in and it's meaning something to me and I have a better understanding for how difficult life is for you and I'm also excited about how well y'all will be able to do going forward because y'all are sharing so much with each other. It's really nice to hear that you guys are making friends from different countries. It's a beautiful thing to hear different accents and to hear people expressing in their own tongue, in their own voice and in their own way, something that you could relate to. It makes you feel like you're part of something bigger and something more special. 
So it's really great to see everyone dressed up and decked off. And it's really nice to hear you guys are having so much fun. And it's really, really encouraging to hear that you get value from the program. We're going to continue doing our best. And I'm hearing a lot of people saying that they're missing the Saturday, the weekly Saturday classes. So maybe Simone and I will have to have a conversation about something we could do for you guys. So from the Philippines and Canada and Dominica, Suriname, Turks and Caicos, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Guyana, uh, Barbados, Grenada, I'd say Grenada already, uh, Trinidad and Tobago. I don't know if I miss anybody. Haiti, you know, we had Haiti in the mix as well too. France, the UK, the United States. Uh, there's so many flags, I can't even remember them all. But thank you guys for your patience. Thank you for your enthusiasm. Thank you for your trust. And well, today, thanks for dressing up and coming out. I am going to hand back over to Simone now. And I just want to say that I'm really proud of all of you. Some of you guys were really, really, really shy in the beginning. And I'm, I'm glad to see that the confidence has begun to grow. So keep it up. You all are doing a great job. Take care. Thanks very much, Ricardo. Thanks for being there for us and supporting and, you know, doing all our editing and putting up our videos, social media, Instagram. Ricardo has been really, really supportive. And, you know, thanks to him, we have all this proof and persons can go on and review the sessions and um, keep up to date on our social media, etc. So wonderful job. Thanks, Ricardo. Right, ladies. So as we wrap up in a couple of minutes, um, anyone has any comments, anything you'd like to share? Anything, uh, you know? Um, what we want to do is um, I think we probably need to keep you ladies engaged during the um, month that we won't be seeing each other. So what I'll do is we can organize to have like an informal meetup, maybe like an evening during the month. So halfway through. We can do like a session. So maybe the next two weeks, we'll do like an evening session. Um, is Saturday evening okay? Anyone? Uh, six, maybe five, six o'clock. And we can meet up and you girls could have like, you know, just like an informal chat with each other. Right? I see Odessa says it's fine. Um, please raise your hand in the, um, in the group if it is that Saturday is okay for you, like Saturday evening. And maybe next two weeks we can have a session and you girls can meet up and chat with each other. Kind of like this, you know, informal. No lecturing or anything like that. We just put you into groups and then you can have your own little social, you know. Yeah, I think that most people are okay. What about you, Angeli? You're okay with that? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, so we're going to meet up in the next couple of weeks. I'll send out the email before. But I want you to continue working on your uh, vision boards in the meantime. Okay. Right, so, um, any uh, last comments from our facilitators before we close off? Uh, we were supposed to have a surprise guest speaker, but she will be on on our next session. So, we're going to. Um, we're going to advertise her for the next session, okay? She's committed to doing our next session. So we're gonna have a really surprise um, special guest speaker. Uh, we really wanna thank um, our guest speakers today. We really, really feel privileged to, uh, to have them with us and allow all the way from Philippines. It's been really, really wonderful. We will keep in touch. Um, we'll follow up the work that you're doing. And Khadija, we thank you so, so much for your time and your input. And we're going to be following up your programs. I'll check with you and sure. let's see. Yeah, let's see how the girls can become involved in your upcoming okay. program in August. Yes, that will be fantastic. Yes. fantastic Thank you. They will love it. I can see the fashionistas right here. Oh, yeah. So it's a really great, awesome program. So I'd love for them to come. Yeah. Great. Um, I'm hoping I might be able to join the program. Hope you don't have an age limit, you know. No, it's, it's for all ages, <laughs> male and female. Yeah. Right. Uh, Wonderful. Yeah. So I think I need some passion. I was going to ask the same question to Simon. So thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I Beverly. will send you the flyer. Right. Maybe so you Beverly? can you take my number. Mm -hmm. I, I can give you my number if you yeah, wish. I some fashion tips too. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, Beverly's ready for that number, Bev. Oh yeah, I am. 
<laughs> you want me to give you it now or you would contact me? Yeah. One of the things I have on my business board, I need to work on the fashion to get there. <laughs> yeah, you can give it now if, if you like. If not, we can, you know, contact you after. Let me know. Now okay. please, ready and waiting. <laughs> Okay, so the area code is 868. That's Trinidad and Tobago's area code. Yeah. So it's 868-753-5024. Okay, and what's the name okay. again? My Khadija. name is Khadija. Khadija. So once once I am, once you WhatsApp me, mm -hmm. I'm very active on WhatsApp. I'll respond to you and send the flyer and the rest of the information for you. Okay. Or anyone who wants to join, it's no age limit it's amazing so I'm very amazing to right way. away yeah no problem <laughs> no so problem glad it's male and female so it is gonna put ricardo in the mix too right I was about to say ricardo, no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because, you know some, some some men some men need they need to know how to walk and show their confidence to be no heads down at all. I don't know if you need that but then you never yeah, know yeah, of course, of course. Like it's a, so his brothers <laughs> <laughs> I, am, oh, I, have, I, have, I have no confidence problems whatsoever. I I my, walk, I I my, my, my walk is my walk is very distinct. You could make oh, me out from across the road. <laughs> <laughs> but um what I would like to find out though is how to take a proper picture. I do not know how to pose. That's Anytime so I try to pose, That's it so is a mess. Up. Yeah. Because my best can... picks are when I don't know. Right, good, right. good. So all that we're gonna be teaching you all how to stand, how to pose, what looks good, what not, what is not okay, what is tasteful and what is distasteful. That's what right. we're gonna be doing. Mm. Yeah. I'm okay, thank you. Got me a hello. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I'm seeing your chat come in, so I respond to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So it's been a really, really wonderful session. Thank you all. So it's just a few minutes after twelve now. Um we're gonna close off with our song, Ricardo um yeah and yeah i think that's it for for today i'm gonna I keep you guys thank, engaged yeah i want to thank miss liz in particular for organizing this tea party and getting us together um it was a great venture and i'm glad that even though she couldn't make it for a lot of it that she put things in place for it to happen so for those of you who aren't following check out miss liz uh it's miss liz and tea time with miss liz i believe on her various social media. But yeah, she, um, yes. she has an amazing active page and she has a really nice program. I've checked it out a couple of times as well. So yeah, just making sure that we give yeah, our Yeah, we can't thank her enough yeah, for organizing this for us today. Miss Liz, Tea Time and Parties on social media. Yeah, really, really grateful for her organizing this session today. It's been a wonderful idea. Thank you, Liz. Yes, Liz reached out to me quite a lot to let me know what I have to do and what is expected. And she was very helpful. Thank you, Liz. Yeah, she's been early in pre preparing everything, you know, from weeks yes. ago. Yes. <laughs> yes. She had me on the ball with everything, you know. Yes. <laughs> oh, Simone, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Hi. Go ahead, Liz. Uh, could all of the ladies take a screenshot so I can see them because I got three girls and I'm I think I'm going to be sending three gifts out and you all look amazing they <laughs> from do what can, from what I can see you guys are really tiny but I'm, I'm blowing you up zooming you up and that <laughs> so you want them to take like a screenshot and um like send it uh, I'm not too sure how all that works so these ladies might be more up on that than me <laughs> Yeah, if they can take a screenshot and maybe send it to you, Simo, and then you could maybe send that to me. So, ladies, please take your screenshots just as we're closing off now. Now is the time. Um, save it and send it across to me so that I can send it to Miss Liz uh, for the prizes. So, please do that now. And we're going to end with our song. I'm going to contact you guys in a couple of weeks and we're going to do an informal session where you can get to network amongst yourselves and then get ready for our session in August, which is going to be absolutely wonderful. We're going to have another special guest on that session. <laughs>